In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let the hearts that seek the Lord rejoice. Turn to the Lord and be strengthened. Constantly seek His face. Psalm 105, verse 3 to 4. Let us pray. We invoke your mercy in humble prayer, O Lord, that you may cause us, your servants, corrected by penance and schooled by good works, to persevere sincerely in your commands and come safely to the Paschal festivities. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Good morning, my dear brothers and sisters in Christ. Thank you once again for joining me. Sincere apologies for yesterday's video. There was no audio and I did not realize it on time. Thank God I have corrected it now. Today is Thursday of the fourth week of Lent. Today we hear Moses speaking to God on behalf of the children of Israel who abandoned their faith, who abandoned God and turned towards the worship of a golden calf. We see that even in today's society, the same thing is repeating itself. We are rejecting God today and we, we are turning towards the worship of material things. The worship of money, the worship of gold, the worship of possessions. And just as the children of Israel turned to corrupt themselves, we are corrupting ourselves today by all kinds of immorality going on in our society. As Moses pleaded for the people of Israel, Jesus continues to plead for us. But the question is, how do we gain from the mercy of God if we refuse to repent? If you hear his words today, turn from your wicked ways, flee from your worship of idols, and begin to worship God. Repent before it becomes too late. May God bless his words in our hearts. Amen. Let us now listen to our readings for today. Our first reading is taken from the book of Exodus. Exodus chapter 32, verse 7 to 14. In those days, the Lord said to Moses, Go down, for your people whom you brought up out of the land of Egypt have corrupted themselves. They have turned aside quickly out of the way which I commanded them. They have made for themselves a molten calf and have worshipped it and sacrificed to it and said, These are your gods, O Israel, who brought you up out of the land of Egypt. And the Lord said to Moses, I have seen this people and behold, it is a stiff-necked people. Now therefore let me alone that my wrath may burn hot against them and I may consume them. But of you I will make a great nation. But Moses begged the Lord his God and said, O Lord, why does your wrath burn hot against your people, whom you have brought forth out of the land of Egypt, with great power and with a mighty hand? Why should the Egyptians say, With evil intent he brought them forth to slay them in the mountains, and to consume them from the face of the earth? Turn from your fierce wrath and repent of this evil against your people. Remember Abraham, Isaac, and Israel, your servants to whom you did swear by your own self, and you did say to them, I will multiply your descendants as the stars of heaven, and all this land that I have promised, I will give to your descendants, and they shall inherit it forever. And the Lord repented of the evil, which he taught to do to his people. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our responsorial psalm is taken from Psalm 1 Hostess. Our response to the psalm is, O Lord, remember us with the favor you showed to your people. 
Oh Lord, remember us with the favor you showed to your people. They fashioned a calf at Horeb and worshipped the image of metal. They exchanged their glory for the image of a bull that eats grass. O oh Lord, remember us with the favor you showed to your people. They forgot the God who was their Savior, who had done such great things in Egypt, such wonders in the land of Ham, such marvels at the Red Sea. O oh Lord, remember us with the favor you showed to your people. For this he said it would destroy them. But Moses, the man he had chosen, stood in the breach before him to turn back his anger from destruction. O oh Lord, remember us with the favor you show to your people. Glory and praise to you, O Christ. Glory and praise to you, O Christ. God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son that whoever believes in him should have eternal life. Glory and praise to you, O Christ. Glory and praise to you, O Christ. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Chapter 5, verse 31 to 47. John, chapter 5, verse 31 to 47. At that time, Jesus said to the Jews, If I bear witness to myself, my testimony is not true. There is another who bears witness to me, and I know that the testimony which he bears to me is true. You sent to John, and he has borne witness to the truth. Not that the testimony which I receive is from man, but I say this, that you may be saved. He was a burning and shining lamp, and you were willing to rejoice for a while in his light. But the testimony which I have is greater than that of John. For the works which the Father has granted me to accomplish, these very works which the Father has granted me to accomplish, these very works which I am doing, bear witness that the Father has sent me. And the Father who sent me as himself bore witness to me. His voice you have never heard, his form you have never seen, and you do not have his word abiding in you, for you do not believe him whom he has sent. You search the scriptures because you think that in them you have eternal life, and it is they that bear witness to me. Yet you refuse to come to me that you may have life. I do not glory, I do not receive glory from men, but I know that you have not the love of God within you. I have come in my Father's name, and you do not receive me. If another comes in his own name, him you will receive. How can you believe who receive glory from one another and do not seek the glory that comes from the only God? Do not think that I shall accuse you to the Father. It is Moses who accuses you, on whom you set your hope. If you believe Moses, you would believe me, for he wrote of me. But if you do not believe his writings, how would you believe my words? The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Glory to Jesus. Honor to Mary and Joseph. 
in today's first reading, a very sad reality occurred. Something very sad and very bad happened. Moses was up with God on the mountain of Mount Sinai. As Moses was interacting with God, the children of Israel got tired of waiting for him. He started saying to themselves, we do not know what has become of this Moses. We cannot see him. We cannot see the God who has been leading us. The God who rescued them from the Egyptians, they quickly forgot because they could not see God. And they said to Aaron, make for us a God whom we can see so that we can know this is the God who is saving us. Since Moses is nowhere to be found and we cannot see God, we want a God whom we can see. And Aaron gave in to pressure and asked them to submit their earrings, their golden ornament, and he made a golden calf. This great mistake of the children of Israel is the same mistake that modern man makes. When we say we cannot see God, so therefore modern man has become atheistic. Since he cannot see God, he has created for himself other gods whom he can see. We have exchanged the worship of the one true God for the worship of material things. Just like the children of Israel, we have turned our most valuable possessions into a God that we now worship. For many of us, our golden calf is our expensive car. We don't use the car, but every day we worship and adore it. For some of us, our golden calf is our fleet of cars. Some of us even decide to park the car inside the living room. So we carry a whole car and put it in a sitting room. Just so that we can see it, we can adore it. So that car has become a golden calf. It has become an idol in our living room. For some of us, our golden calf is our wardrobe. We are in, we find all kinds of shoes, all kinds of clothes, all kinds of expensive gadgets. Some of us, our golden calf is even our phones. Some have 10, 5, 6, 15 phones. We don't use them and we can't give them out. Some of us are wristwatches. So many things that we just keep and we worship. Child of God, these things cannot save you. They cannot answer your prayer. You may say, but I worship God. Now you don't worship God. You worship these things. You worship them. They become idols for you. You don't need them. You don't use them. But you can't give them away. They have become your idols. They may give you a sense of security. You may be saying to yourself, no matter what happens to me, at least I have some things I, I'm keeping here. I can sell them. Your golden earrings, your golden, you know I mean, your, your diamond jewelry. These things will not save you in a rainy day. These things cannot answer your prayers. 
no matter how much pleasure you derive looking at them, they cannot take the place of God in heaven. Only God deserves our worship, not the material things that we bow to all the time. And you see, just as the children of Israel worshipped the golden calf and then rose up to corrupt themselves, the Bible says they rose up to play. Other translations say they rose up to engage in all kinds of orgies. How sad. How terrible. God said to Moses, He said, Go down, for your people whom you brought up out of the land of Egypt have corrupted themselves. They have turned aside quickly out of the way which I commanded them. Huh. Why do we engage in immorality? It is as a result of our rejection of God. Every sin is a rejection of God. Every sin is an offense against God. Because God has given us a way to live. But by the time we say to God, God, you are not worthy to tell me how to live my life. Then we go against the way that God has set for us. Just look at immorality in our society today. Just look at our music. Look at our, 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 our music videos. What message are we sending? What message are we sending? Today we worship the God of pleasure. We just, we, we just want to, uh, we, we sing, we just want to be happy. We just want to tantalize ourselves. But God did not make us to be happy. God did not make us for pleasure. God made us to know him, to love him, to worship him. God made us to worship him. Not for the pleasures, the passing pleasures of this life. Child of God, if today you hear his words, we are called upon to repent. Repent from the worship of idols. Repent from immorality. Every time we sin, we commit the sin of the flesh. We actually incur the wrath of God for ourselves. As God said to Moses, I have seen these people, and behold, it is a stiff-necked people. Let me alone, that my wrath may burn hot against them, that I may consume them. Why do we bring God's anger upon us by committing the same sins that the children of Israel committed in the wilderness? before the golden calf. Jesus Christ told us, say, be pure. Be pure in heart. Blessed are you pure in heart, for they shall see God. When we are pure in heart, purity of heart is, is, is a testament to the worship of God. But when we are corrupt, when we engage in pornography, in masturbation, in fornication, in adultery, in the sins of the flesh, it is it is a wash. It is a symbol of the worship of the golden calf. Going against God's commandment, we are worshiping the golden calf, and we are only bringing upon ourselves the wrath of God. Moses pleaded for the people. Moses begged God on their behalf. Moses played the role of an intercessor. And in our gospel passage, we see Jesus Christ also interceding on behalf of us. Jesus is the new Moses whose blood pleads on our behalf. That is why we are called upon to repent today. Today. Because of the blood of Jesus, we have hope that God will welcome us back. We have hope that God will not allow us to be destroyed because Jesus pleads on our behalf. Come back to God. 
Do not procrastinate your repentance. There is more joy in heaven over one sinner who repents than over the 99 who have no need of repentance. Come back to God today. Walk away from the sins of the flesh. Worship God with your body. Know that your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit. Do not make God sad by indulging in the sins of the flesh. May God bless his words in our hearts. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. God bless you. Be happy. Live positive. It is well with you. Happy month end. And I look forward to a greater month ahead, the month of April.